Hi, and welcome to Declutter the Mind for Anger. Let's start by finding a comfortable chair or spot to sit. It can be a desk chair or cushion on the floor. As long as you're able to sit with your back straight, but comfortably. With your eyes open now, begin to take a few big, deep breaths. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. On the next out breath, gently close your eyes. First, if you're feeling angry or upset right now, think about what it is in response to. Is it a person? Is it something that happened to you? Something in the world? Next, ask yourself, how useful is it for me to stay angry about this? Now ask yourself, do I need to be angry about this? Okay, now the goal of this practice is to get us to become interested in our anger as a response to the thing that made us angry. And for us to notice that it's impossible to stay angry for very long when we begin to get out of our heads about our anger and stop having a thought or conversation in our heads about it and begin to let go of this feeling. So to start, begin to notice the physical points of contact. Start to feel the weight on the chair or cushion you're sitting on. Notice your legs touching the floor, your back against the chair. Notice your arms and hands in your lap. Bring your attention to the physical sensations and points of contact around your body. And now, let's bring our attention to our breathing. Paying attention to each breath as it passes and the sensations of breathing. We're not forcing the breath here, just placing our focus on our natural breathing. Maybe you notice this more in your chest or stomach. 
Maybe it's your mouth or tip of your nose. Wherever you feel it most or find it easier to place your focus, leave your attention there. Begin to watch the rise and fall of each breath. And you'll notice as we begin to do this, your mind will wander. Maybe your mind is wandering or trying to follow thoughts about the anger you're feeling or have felt. Part of this practice is recognizing this as just thinking and bringing our attention back to the present. Whenever the mind has become distracted, gently bring the focus back to the breath. And now, start to count the breaths as they pass. The breath in, one. The breath out, two. Up until you reach 10. Once you reach a count of 10, start over and count the breaths again.
Again, if you've noticed the mind has wandered, gently return to the breath. Don't judge it. Just notice you've been distracted and start to count over. And continue to place your attention on your breathing. If you're finding your emotions and the way you're feeling are distracting you from paying attention to the breath, then start to pay attention to the experience of anger. Don't judge it or allow yourself to follow your thoughts about this emotion. Just allow your anger to pass through you. What happens? What's on the other side of that anger? What happens when we begin to become interested in this feeling and we begin to observe it? Does it go away? Just allow yourself to do that for a moment. And now, return your focus to the breath again.
And if your mind wanders and you lose track of your count, start the count over and return to the breath. It's important that whenever you notice your mind has wandered, that you don't make any judgments since judging is thinking. And in the final minute here, just release all focus. Allow your mind to do what it wants. And gently return the focus back to the body, back to the physical points of contact. And gently open your eyes and notice how you feel. You've just completed the meditation session. Until you can get out of the thoughts and begin to pay attention to the experience of a negative emotion, it can control you. And sometimes to the point where it can affect you for hours or even days. Instead, start to pay attention non-judgmentally to the emotion. Practice this guided meditation to start training the mind to respond this way. When something makes you angry, 
you can decide how long you want to feel that way. If you've enjoyed this, be sure to visit theclutterthemind.com for more, and also leave a like and comment. It helps support the channel. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next session.